Hi everybody, it's Diane with Sew Boutique. And today, pattern review day. I selected the square neck top by Friday Pattern Company. And it is a fun project. First of all, the pattern comes with a pattern booklet that takes you through step-by-step -step of how to fit yourself, how to sew the darts, how to sew the facing, how to hem it and how to finish your um, sleeve edges. It's very, very basic and very, very simple. Um, the pattern is for extra small through 7X. It's for a knit as well as a woven. And the front pattern pieces come with an option of an AB dart or a C to D. And so you can get pretty close to whatever size your body size is. The pattern is designed to fit very loosely and it actually is a little on the shorter side. And also when this pattern is written, um, they tell you the size of the model, which was, it was written for somebody who is five, six. I'm a little taller than that. And the comfort level is loose fitting. And I can tell you it's wonderful. So this is a pattern today. And from what you're seeing here, <laughs> I made a few of these and really had a, had a fun time making them. The first garment that I made is from our Batik Rayon. Violetta is the motif. It's the little tiny leaves on the vine. And this is the Valentine Pink colorway. And over here, I also made one from Dusty Denim. Now, my goal today is not to take you through a step-by-step -step of how to make this top because the pattern itself is so self-instructive. And if you do have any questions, there are several, several YouTube videos and they quickly send you through the process of making the top, but I can guarantee that you won't need to use a YouTube video for this particular top, it's that simple. What I wanted to focus on today is size and how to size yourself to the garment and to the pattern pieces themselves. Um, the pattern actually is quite simple again. It is a back, a front, and the two facing pieces for the front neckline and the back neckline. You do need interfacing. And with our Batik Rayon, what I selected was the um, Envy Silk, very, very super lightweight interfacing. And I cut out a piece of our rayon, fused that with a piece of the interfacing, and then folded and cut out these pieces. I find that to be the easiest way to work with, with any kind of facing when you're dealing with interfacing. I really um, dislike cutting out the interfacing separate, so I do it all together. Um, but the pattern pieces themselves, and you might be asking yourself, why did I make two pinks? Um, here's what my experience was. And just kind of, I wanted to share with you what to look for. And that I did not, against all of the things that I always tell you to do, I did not make a sample. And I got caught this time. I should have made a sample. The bus size that I used to their measurements here, ended up to be a size too large for me. And it had too much fullness. So the looseness of this top um, was just a bit much for my style. And um, I liked it to be a little bit more fitted. And also with a no sleeve top like this, there is, um, you need to know how much fabric is here on your sleeve and how that is going to be in proportion to your arm and what you need for your bicep and the opening of your sleeve. The first garment I made ended up to be too low and also the arm itself, I'm gonna turn this here for you. The arm itself 
was too wide open for me. So when I let the top just hang, you could see in the back and you could see underneath. And it just, it was just, just a size too big because the fabric that was hanging back here was just excessive fabric. And so as you can see from what I'm wearing today, I made adjustments to get the top to fit the way I really like it to fit. And the dusty denim version over here was my first <laughs> make um, after adjusting my pattern pieces. Here's what I did. I had to adjust, and I'm just gonna use the back piece of my pattern piece here. I took off a half an inch from the top and I took off a half an inch of the side as well as I raised up, I'm gonna do this here and right on here, but I went up, I'm just using a pen, about, and then I'm gonna show you this, I went up about an inch and a half higher on the pattern, cut that out in order to reduce the amount of open space in my arm. And I did that to the, I made that adjustment to the back and then I matched it to the front so that the arm openings were the same and the um, shoulder was the same. And then I also adjusted my facing pieces to make sure that I cut off the same half an inch here and the same half an inch here. And then I made this second sample, which is the dusty denim, and the arm is much smaller, and there is an increased space between the dart and the opening of the arm, and that is where I had my inch and an, an inch and a half that I added to it. And then I decided I really liked the Valentine pink colors, <laughs> the colorway so much that instead of taking this garment apart and reconstructing it. I decided just to make another one. And that's how fast this garment is to make. You can actually cut out the fabric because it's only four little pieces and um, sew it in an evening. It truly is that fast. And I absolutely love it. And now I have two tops that I can wear. One I'm going to gift. I have to find somebody um, that will fit that garment here. Um, but otherwise, that is what I did with the square neck top. Um, but all in all, everything is written so well, like I said, and it is, you know, I use the Batik Rayon, um, our woven fabric. So I have not yet made this out of the Jersey knit and I can't wait to do that because I think that soft feeling will be absolutely wonderful. And if I do, I'll also put some updated comments about the Jersey knit version of it because those are separate pattern pieces as well. And you always look at a knit a little bit different because it is stretchy and we need to accommodate any stretch for that. But that's my update and my pattern review. And I hope, and I hope, and I hope you take an opportunity to use this pattern and to buy this pattern if you don't have it. And if you have it, definitely make this pattern. Um, I found that I used a yard and a half of fabric simply because I wanted it longer. And with the yard and a half, I ended up folding both of the pattern pieces on, off one side, one salvage edge of the fabric. And then I took one little piece of the other side, the other salvage edge to use for my facings. And I have a whole bunch of fabric left over um, to use on whatever project I, I might, <laughs> might put together with the Valentine pink and the dusty denim um, colorways here. But you do have a little bit left over, but for the length, you need twice the length of your garment in the yardage of your uh, top. So see this on one of our fashion duos that we're gonna have on our website here shortly. And also look for the pattern if you have fabric at home and enjoy. So shop our website, sewboutique.com and like this video and follow us on all future 
pattern reviews. Take care. Enjoy. Hi again. Well, I took the opportunity to make the Jersey knit version of the square neck top. And last night I took home this fabric, which is our Violetta motif in the shade of Ivy. And I don't think I've ever had a green top before. So I'm actually very excited about this. And it matches a necklace that I got from my uh, friend Richard for a birthday gift. So it's fantastic. Um, but I took this fabric home last night, washed it, and then cut out the knit version of this top. And just a few things I want to kind of highlight are some differences between the woven version and the knit version, which aren't unusual. They would be the same things that you would look at if you were using any other pattern. Um, just know a couple things. One, the fit of the knit top, even though the pattern is supposed to be loose fitting, which it is, um, it will have stretch. Your knit is gonna have a stretch. And our Jersey knit, has about a 20% stretch two-way, not four-way, okay? And the pattern does describe that the best fabric that they require um, or their suggestion is a four-way stretch. But I felt that if you can make it out of a woven, you can make it out of 100% cotton jersey knit, and you can, and it fits beautifully, and it feels beautiful as well. I just simply made a size smaller, because the knit measurements are going to be a smaller size for you. You'll see that when you see the measurements plus the finished measurements as well. It's going to, it's intent is to fit a little more snug. And if you don't want that, know that before you cut out your pattern. And again, make a sample. Um, I did not make a sample the second time either because I used my woven pattern pieces laid them on the top of the knit pattern pieces just to kind of understand the difference. And um, the woven were going to be a little larger, which is what I would have expected. And so I went with the pattern design of the knit from their pattern drafts. I adjusted the shoulder again by taking off about a half an inch on the front and back pieces. I did take it in just a little bit, and then I extended the arm structure higher because I didn't want the opening of my sleeve to be very large. And so I did make those same adjustments that I made to the woven garment pattern pieces as well. So it turned out the way I expected and I absolutely love it. And I probably will make a bunch more, but I hope you enjoy this and I hope you enjoy, um, uh, whether it be woven or Jersey knit, this different, square neck top, different neckline, simple dome and sleeve. And on our website, you will see a few things. You're going to see the pattern by itself. If you have some fabric at home that you'd like to try, you're going to also always find our Jersey knit or our rayon on our website and two new fashion duos. The fashion duos, whether it be Batik rayon or Jersey knit, will have the pattern it will have the fabric that you get to select out of our entire collection, and it will also have a half a yard of interfacing. A knit interfacing for the Jersey Knit version and the Envy Silk fusible lightweight interfacing for the Rayon version. And always priced so that you get a little bit of a break because you're buying everything for your garment. So we hope you take a look at all of that and um, like this video. Follow us on Instagram and on Facebook and our newsletters and have a great night.